You're about to watch an elected public official flat out lie to you. The subject was a Fox 26 story about County Judge Lena Hidalgo having a messaging app called Signal, an encrypted app that can easily hide communications from other people. The reporter asking the question in May last year was Greg Grugan. Why do you need an encrypted messaging system? Man, I have Slack, I have Signal, I have WhatsApp. I, I haven't used them in years. Last month, we told you we found clear evidence Hidalgo started using WhatsApp after the date of that story. So we couldn't prove she was lying to Fox. But now we know she did. Hidalgo is fighting the release of some of the new messages we've found. But look at this one on WhatsApp. March 7th and 8th, the app Hidalgo claims she hadn't used in years. It involves Wallace Nader, the deputy policy advisor for the county, later indicted after a COVID contract problem. Stephen Dockery, then a lawyer and policy advisor for the county, and County Judge Lena Hidalgo. The message was released by the county judge's office, along with others, in response to a formal legal request we filed for WhatsApp messages prior to that May comment. I haven't used them in years. They're talking to these folks for two days about problems with ballots in the March primary, rejected because of ID problems. And they're talking about mail-in ballots. And Isabel Longoria, who lost her job right after botching that primary election. I am submitting my resignation effective July 1st. Uh, I didn't meet my own standard, nor the standard set by commissioner's court. That's how we ended up with Clifford Tatum who Judge Adago is now protecting, even though we know more than 100 mostly Republican precincts had problems with the supply of ballot paper. We had millions of sheets of ballot paper available. We've already reported on problems Tatum had running other elections. The technical glitches with paper jams on the voting machines and the like. This whole thing stinks. This computer-generated map shows you clear evidence this likely wasn't an accident. This can't be a coincidence. How can you be a coincidence? It looks more like a targeted attempt to suppress Republican voters, mostly on the West Side. Regardless, the public has a right to know immediately what Clifford Tatum was doing on Election Day and what he wasn't. This shows me, without doubt, somebody planned this. The probability uh, is too small that this was done by coincidence. Public officials shouldn't be allowed to use encrypted apps. It's one more way to keep secret government communications that we all should have a right to see. That app should not be used by any public employee uh, or official uh, to conduct official business. Most of the media is afraid to call this kind of stuff out. We're not. Judge, hiding election records is the real threat to our democracy. It's time to come clean.